Good evening. I'm Pastor Carla Christopher Wilson here at Lutheran Church of the Good Shepherd off Greenfield Road in Lancaster and online at goodshepherdlancaster.org. For the month of August, we're dwelling in Matthew 25 and hearing devotions from Meeting Jesus on the Margins, a collection of reflections on that short text. It's a different way to dive into scripture and a wonderful journey for our Wednesday evening summer meditation series. This gospel comes from Matthew 25, 34 through 40. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Tonight's meditation is written by Bo Cox. Bingo is one of the most popular activities we do at the psych hospital where I serve. It's not unusual to find that by this time the whirlwind of a mental health episode has subsided, folks find themselves without. Without homes, without friends, without jobs, without belongings. So in light of this, it's understandable why seemingly small items are valued so much. That's part of the reason bingo is so popular with folks who find themselves at the end of such a mental health episode and in the hospital. Soft drinks are the most coveted of treats. And every time we play bingo, you hear someone say they're going to die if they don't win a soda. One particular time, a man began to worry me. From the minute people entered the lobby, he was vocal about his desire to have a soda and his need had not quieted throughout the evening. When others won, he yelled across the room, I better win. At first he said it like he was joking, but as he grew more frustrated, it took on the tone of a threat and it wasn't long before worried looks passed. Would he follow through on his threats? Would staff members be able to keep him from hurting someone? I usually call the numbers, and although I fight the urge to play God and manipulate the outcomes, I was tempted to just let him win so we could avoid a possible catastrophe. But I didn't have to. Just then, he won. Yes, he exclaimed. Clad in yellow hospital pajamas, he strode up to the table to present his card, looking around proudly and grinning widely. I read the numbers off, and sure enough, he had won. He claimed his prize and held it up for the whole room to see. I just knew he'd twist off the top and guzzle it down right there. <laughs> so when he walked back to his table and passed it around, sharing the soda with the people around him. I knew I was witnessing a holy moment. Have a blessed evening, friends. See you next week.